jackfruit was donated by Linda and Richard Wilson from Excalibur Fruit Trees in Lake Worth. The jackfruit it becomes tannish and with spots like this and softer when it's ready to be cut up. It also has the smell on the outside of onions, but inside there's a smell of pineapple and banana, almost like juicy fruit gum. The way you need to start out cutting up a jackfruit is to first oil all surfaces and your instruments. The knife, only the blade. Oil the cutting surface. This is because of the latex in the jackfruit. It will make things much easier to clean up after. And don't forget your hands. We're using a simple sharp knife here. So anybody can do this in their home. What we do is we cut it down the center This is the flesh that's edible, and the rag is in between, and that's what we dispose of. There could be 100 to 500 seeds, depending on the size of the jackfruit. Jackfruit is the largest tree-borne fruit, and generally they can run from 10 pounds to 50 and 70 pounds, and sometimes even 100. This is the seed. Here we're removing the center core. And you can see all the nice fruit. This is a My One Jackfruit. Jackfruit flesh is sometimes either soft or crunchy. Many different varieties of jackfruit. And it is related to a breadfruit. And there you have it. Here we have the finished product of cleaning the jackfruit. We have the arils here, which contain the seeds. These were cleaned from around the arils, still edible, a little bit more fibrous. We've cut these up right here ready to eat in pieces or to be used for cooking. We have the leftover seeds which can be roasted, similar to chestnuts. And we have the rind with the fibrous rag attached, leftover. And of course, the spine 